Hello, my name is Dr. Tian Nguyen. On behalf of my co-authors, I would like to thank the Journal of Rheumatology for inviting me to discuss our paper title, Sekikinumab in U.S. Biologic Naive Patients with Psoriatic Arthritis. Results from the Randomized Placebo-Controlled Choice Study. Psoriatic Arthritis, or PSA, is a chronic progressive inflammatory disease that is associated with functional disability and reduced quality of life. Sekikinumab is a biologic inhibitor of interleukin 17A that has proven to be effective and safe for the treatment of PSA in international multi-center clinical trials. U.S. patients who had a baseline clinical profile indicating harder to treat disease than the overall population were a minority of those enrolled in these studies. The objective of this study was to evaluate the efficacy of sekikinumab 300 milligrams and 100 milligrams versus placebo in the US only population of patients with PSA who had not previously received treatment with a biologic. Patients with PSA were randomized two to two to one to receive either sekikinumab 300 milligrams or sekikinumab 150 milligrams or placebo. At week 16, patients initially randomized to placebo began receiving sekikinumab 300 milligrams. Patients who did not respond to sekikinumab 150 milligrams treatment at week 16, 28, or 40 were switched to sekikinumab 300 milligrams for the remainder of the study. Patients in the CHOI study had baseline characteristics indicating difficult to treat disease. The mean baseline BMA was greater than 30 kilograms per square meter in all treatment groups, indicating an obese population. 73.3% of patients had enthesitis and 48.1% had ductilitis. Approximately one third of patients were receiving methotrexate at baseline. The CHOI study met its primary objective with 51.5% of patients who received sekikinumab 300 milligrams achieving an ACR20 response at week 16, compared to 23.1% of patients who received placebo. Sekikinumab resulted in greater improvements in symptoms of PSA at week 16 compared to placebo as measured by ACR50 and ACR70, and sekikinumab 300 milligrams generally resulted in greater improvements than sekikinumab at 150 milligrams. Patients receiving either dose of sekikinumab, the improvements observed at week 16 were generally sustained to week 52. Among patients randomized to receive sekikinumab 150 milligrams who did not achieve at least 20% improvement from baseline in tender and swollen joint counts, those escalation to sekikinumab 300 milligrams resulted in higher ACR response rate, increased resolution of enthesitis and ductilitis, and greater achievement of minimal disease activity. The most common reported adverse events in this study were diarrhea, hypertension, and upper respiratory tract infections, and most adverse events were mild or moderate. By week 52, serious adverse events were reported in fewer than 10% of patients, and fewer than 5% of patients discontinued due to adverse events. 
in summary, Sekikinumab 300 milligrams led to rapid and significant improvements in symptoms of PSA over placebo. In this population of US only biologic naive patients. Among patients who did not respond to Sekikinumab 150 milligrams, increasing the dose of Sekikinumab to 300 milligrams led to greater disease control. The safety profile of Sekikinumab in biologic naive US patients in the CHOI study was consistent with the previous reports in other populations. Overall, the findings of choice demonstrated that sekikinumab provides significant and sustained improvements in signs and symptoms of PSA in US patients. Thank you for your attention. For further details, please see our complete study published in the Journal of Rheumatology. <laughs>